Hi my beautiful Geminis and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your August reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you that are new, welcome, and those of you that are returning, it's nice to have you guys back. Um, all the information for my personal readings is in my description box below. I've host, or I've launched my website, so now you guys can go check that out to see all the one-on-one -on -one, uh, services that I offer. And for those of you that enjoy this video or just like my content in general, then feel free to like, share, and subscribe. That is always greatly appreciated. All right, so let's get in with your reading for the month. My beautiful Geminis. Tell me, what do Geminis need to see for the month of August? What can you get for my beautiful Geminis for August? Hermit and the King of Swords. Some of you guys are going into a time, coming out or going into a time where you are taking some time away from the world, just kind of going within. Um, going within to really find out some answers. Some things just aren't sitting right with you, so you're really taking some time. You're trying to get out of your head, really. You're trying to just get into a time where you have silence in your life. Some of you may start meditating or just start trying to do some things that will help you to relax. You know, self-care is definitely a huge thing for you guys. So maybe you guys were, you know, just working so much or you're going to be at a time where you're working so much where you're going to have to make sure that you're taking time to yourself and taking some space to yourself as well. Six of Cups, there could definitely be somebody new coming into your life. Tower, somebody new coming into your life. Ooh, you don't want this person to come into your life. Uh, an ex coming back into your life, somebody that you ended on a rough terms, them coming back into your life is going to shake things up. Five of Wands, I see lots of conflict between the two of you guys. Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. Oh, wow. This is intense, you guys. Okay. So, Six of Cups, a soulmate energy, somebody coming back from your past, a reconciliation. The tower, a huge shake-up moment between uh, that's going to happen, and that's this person coming back into your life. You know, Queen of Swords, you're coming out very harsh. You're coming out um, not really wanting to listen to this person, to what they have to say, to their apology. Them coming back into your life is making you feel very, very stressed out. You're not really liking... Um, you feel very closed off. It took you a lot to get over this person. So them coming back is just bringing you back to a very conflicting time in your life. And you were done. You were over that, right? So the fact that they're coming back, it's just like, why? They're coming back because they've dealt with their baggage and their, their things that they needed to deal with. And now they're coming back because they want this Ten of Cups with you. They want they see you as their wish fulfillment and they want to be with you um they realize that they're not happy without you and now they want to come back towards you so this is somebody that is claiming that they've changed claiming that you know things can work out you guys are meant to be together still but you're just not having it you're coming out very very cold very very serious about the fact that you know what they did is something that you can't come back from you won't be able to trust them and you're just honestly mad at the fact that they're coming back into your life anyways that they're shaking everything up the fool you know you're having a new start you're gonna have a new start you're not going to um associate with this person you want a new start on your own you like being free you like you know going with the wind going with whatever flows and you're really enjoying that you just started to enjoy that so the fact that this person is coming in is just kind of like you know, they're really not going to give up easily, though. They're going to really try to invest as much time, whether that's through messaging you or just trying to find ways to communicate with you. This is somebody that is going to be putting a lot of energy in towards you. They could be trying to win you back spiritually or win you back in, you know, through manifestation, through multiple different kinds of ways. This is somebody who has their eyes set on you but does not want to let you go. Um, page of coins. Yeah, they're not going to give up on that new start, that new opportunity. I feel like you're already chasing something though it's like there's something that already has your attention this could be a new person in your life that already has your attention or somebody coming into your life this month for others of you this could be a job opportunity that's coming into your life that you're just really focused on right now the temperance ace of cups yeah definitely a new love coming in somebody that is you know meant for you this is divine timing eight of cups yeah you were meant to walk away from that person from your past in order to meet this new person so now that they're coming back for some of you this is a test from the universe for others of you um you know 
this is just you know bad timing that this person is coming in but it really doesn't matter there is a beautiful love that is flourishing or that is about to flourish between you this month and somebody new and you know there could be a water sign a cancer scorpio or pisces but you're really going to enjoy this person you could be dealing with them there's lots of her or sorry virgo energy um scorpio energy sagittarius energy here yeah lots of water energy especially so cancer scorpio or pisces um, but your destiny is ahead of you. You're making a lot of lifestyle changes. You're making a lot of changes within your life. And, um, you know, this person coming back into your life, as much as you're very upset with that, it could help you to realize some things, you know, maybe you weren't able to fully move on or fully forgive them. And now you're really just going to forgive, forget, and just move on and just focus on this new happiness that you have. Knight of Swords, this person isn't going to be happy about this. They're going to be very upset. Seven of Cups. They don't like your options. They don't like that you have choices. Two of Cups, they want you to feel the same way that they feel about you. But back then, when you felt a certain way about them, they didn't feel that way about you. So, you know, this is really just karma that's coming back to them. But this person is very, you know, aggressive. They're not really going to let it go. This could be somebody that might stalk you on social media or just really, you know, do whatever it is to, you know, manipulate the situation or just try to get you to talk to them because they're not going to give up. Um, and when they can't get what they want in a nice way, they're just going to go about it in a rude way, which doesn't make any sense. But to them, it's like, they're just, they're not going to give up. Um, they don't like the choices and the options that you have around them. They wish that you could just focus on them, like how you used to, and they want to get that two of cups energy back with you, but it, it's kind of too late because it looks like you're already in love or falling in love with this new person or somebody that's coming in. I think you guys feel an energy of somebody new coming in or this person that you're currently with, you just can sense uh, three of Wands uh, waiting for your ships to come in, right? So it's like you see, it's like your last pull. So it's like you can already see that somebody's coming in for you or you already know who this person is. So you're not worried. You're going some places. Knight of Coins. So something that, you know, you've been working on for a very long time. Something that is, you know, you knew was going to take a lot of patience, a lot of persistence. And, um, you know, this could be another offer coming in. For some of you, there's two offers coming in. Or for some of you, this is just the fact that this person is coming back in and it's something that you waited for for a very long time. But now, by the time that they came back in, it's too late. Two of coins. Queen of coins, sorry. Two of coins. Three, or sorry. Um, queen of coins. And the Four of Swords. You guys are really going to be taking some time to think about yourself. Think about where you are headed in life. And, um, you know, just you're going to be in a very healed energy where you feel very healed. You feel very rested. You know, make sure you're getting enough sleep. I feel like this is a really good time to make sure that you're balanced. You know, really, really balanced out. Balance is a huge key factor here. Um, there could be some huge choice that you have to make regarding your career. There could be many options and you need to try to figure out which one is best for you, which one will give you the most abundant lifestyle. But I do see you coming in with very, very abundant energy. It's like by time you're, you know, the person that's coming back well, when you guys were together, he was a page of coins. Now he's a knight, but you're already a queen. So it's like, it's too late. It's too late. King of coins. Oh, wow. Somebody is definitely maturing. For some of you, this is just the offer. Um... It's just the offer that you've been waiting for for a very long time. That person has leveled up and finally matched. You know, they want the same type of commitment that you want. They want the same things as life. This is your guys' goals. Somebody coming into your life where your goals are matching up. Everything just seems to be lining up. You seem to be in a better place. You seem to know what you want. You seem to just be in a great place all around um, physically and internally when you're around this person, when this person is around. Seven of Wands, Five of Swords. Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups. So I would just be careful because this is somebody, you know, this person, um, there's somebody in your life that isn't, isn't the greatest. There's somebody that is doing things, you know, behind your back or just somebody that doesn't have the best intention. So this person trying to come back in, 
you know, they may not have the best intentions. And I feel like you already know that. You already know who this person's soul really is. So that's why you're just going to be so mad as to the fact that why they even came back. But it looks like every little thing that they're throwing at you, you're just going to be jumping over it. You know, any little bump in the road that this person may cause, you're just going to be, you know, climbing right through it, jumping right past it. And it's going to be beautiful because you're trusting your intuition. You're allowing your intuition to guide you and you're going to get happiness. You're going to get your wish come true. You know, you end off with the nine of cups, which is absolutely beautiful. You feeling 100% fulfilled, 100% um, satisfied, definitely lots of healing energy. You've done a lot of healing and good things are coming for you guys. So this is beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did and you would like a personal reading, my website is in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Bye my loves.